Hi guys, Dave here with a new guitar solo lesson for you. Today we're going to look at Steve Lukavers' very tasteful solo to Randy Crawford's You Might Need Somebody. Okay, let's get straight into it. So it's in the key of E flat minor, so mainly he's using minor pentatonics, natural minor scale, but we'll get into that later. Let's just go through the actual notes themselves. So the first phrase. <laughs> So that's just sliding 13 on the D string and then 11 on the G. I make them quite short as well, staccato. Then, so that's 13 twice on the G string and then sliding to 11 on the B and then add a little bit of a brighter on the end. The next phrase. So I'm sliding 12 on the B, re-pick it, then 14 on the E, and then 14 again, and then 11 on the B. Add the bar there. And right at the end of the bar, you just very lightly re-pick that 11th fret on the B. And that's basically getting us into the next phrase. Which is just what we had before. So again, slide 12 into B. Repick it. 14 on the E. Repick it. And then back down to 11 again. So pretty much the same phrase. But ends slightly differently. I'm going to play 13G. Slide into 11 on the B. Like that. Then you get this little pentatonic lick. So for that, I'm doing 11, 14 on the B. Pick hammer. Then 11 on the E. And then I'm going to pull off 14 to 11 on the E twice. And then do the same thing on the B, 14 to 11. So. It's like a 16th note triplet, the way he plays it. Slides off and then quickly slides into 14 on the D. 11 on the G and then give it a very slight bend. A quarter note bend, quarter tone bend I should say. Then we're into pretty much the first phrase again. So that's 13, 13 on the G. Slide into 11 on the B. Vibrato. And then re-pick the 11. And then this phrase again. So slide 12. Re-pick it. 14E. Re-pick it down to 11 again, so just like what we had before, uh, re-pick 11, then again that same phrase, slide into 11 on the B, 13 on the G, then the very last bit, we're going to slide into 13 on the G again, and then we're going to swing these 16th notes, so we've got 11, 14 on the B, and then 11 on the E, back to 14 on the B. And then to finish off, we're going to bend the 16th fret on the B, up a whole step, and then gradually release it down. It basically, by the time he's released the bend, it's come it, it happens on beat one of the next bar, so he's kind of times the, the slow descent of the bend so that it comes down on beat one. There you go. And that's the end of the solo. Okay, maybe just a couple of things to add on the end of this lesson. Um, the fill underneath the whole song 
has a slight 16th note shuffle. You can certainly hear it in the drum pattern and the bass. Um, funny enough though, most of the playing that, he, that Steve does over the top is actually played fairly straight. So it kind of rubs against the, the back groove, if you like. The only time when he joins in with the shuffle is right at the end when he plays the last phrase. The That's the only bit where he actually follows the shuffle groove. So, um, yeah, well worth kind of bearing that in mind. Probably the only other thing I would say is that um, I found that when I recorded it, I had a tendency to play ahead of the beat a little bit. So it's one of those tunes you have to really lay back when you're playing the phrases so that it kind of sits in the track nicely. Okay, guys, I hope that's all helpful, and I will see you for a lesson real soon.